Hi, I'm Chris Anderson at the EE Web Tech Lab, and today I'm looking at the Freescale Freedom Development Platform. The Freedom Platform is a small, low-power, cost-effective series of development boards featuring the Freescale Kinetis family of MCUs. Today, I have the Freedom K20 D50N, so let's take a look at some of the features of that board and then get into what it can do. The Freedom Development Platform has a few common features across all of its boards. First, they all feature a Kinetis family MCU, and the Kinetis family of MCUs are based on a variety of ARM Cortex M-series cores. They also feature an open standard serial and debug interface, or OpenSDA, which allows for easy access to programming and debugging your application. And they also feature easy access to the MCU I.O. pins, and they're routed out in such a way that they are compatible with the Arduino shields. If you're not familiar with Arduino, they call their third-party expansion boards shields. And so you, you have a, a whole plethora of third-party hardware that you can add on top of this board and, and program up to connect to it. Now this particular board, the K20 D50M, features a K20 series processor, which is based on the ARM Cortex M4. It also has an accelerometer on board, as well as an ambient light sensor and an RGB LED. It also has a capacitive touch slider on the edge of the board. So let's go ahead and connect to this and get some applications loaded on it and see what it can do. The K20 D50M has two USB ports. One is labeled SDA and one is labeled K20 USB. The K20 USB port is for the K20 MCU to act as a USB host. The SDA is what you want to access the device for programming and debugging. And the, you'll notice the default application, it'll cycle through the various LED colors. And then after it's all done with that and it goes to white, you can tilt it around and you can see that it controls the color of the LED based on the accelerometer data that it's getting. Also, you can control the brightness with the capacitive touch slider. Now a few things to check out before you move on. You want to make sure that the serial port has loaded properly. So, you should get a mass storage device. That is one of the features of the OpenSDA interface. It, it will populate a mass storage device on your computer. So you can open that and, and see what it is and see it actually has a few files on here and you might need one of these if your serial port doesn't populate properly. So open up Device Manager uh, and just verify that under Ports you have an OpenSDA CDC serial port and then the web address. And if you're going to use the serial port you'll need to note what port number it actually is. If this doesn't come up, then look under Other. There will be another category labeled Other, and you'll see uh, some device under there. And what you'll want to do is right click on it and say Update Driver Software, and then browse for it and point it to uh, this SER CDC89 file that's on the uh, Freedom Development Platform board. So the next thing you'll want to do, or, or maybe you'll want to do this up front, is go to Freescale and download their Quick Start Pack. Uh, and that contains a number of OpenSDA applications as well as pre-compiled examples. It also gives you the pinouts and a Quick Start Guide, which you can use to go through some of these same steps. If you want to load another application onto your platform, let's open up the pre-compiled examples. And let's say you want to load uh, this touch toggle LEDs freedom .srec. Now this is a this is a pre-compiled application, and all you have to do to load this onto your board is copy it from here onto the mass storage device populated in Windows under the uh, K20 D50 name, and you'll see that it's receiving the information. You'll see some activity here. And now you should be ready to go. So if I touch this, I'm going to turn off and on the LED. So you can turn the blue and the red on. Obviously, if you have blue and red, you get purple. So turn the blue off, you'll see the red. And that's all it takes. Once you have uh, some compiled code, all you have to do is copy it, on, copy the .srec file onto the board. It'll load it, it'll reset, and then you're ready to go. Now, if for some reason you wanted to change the OpenSDA application that's running on the MCU. Then what you can do is you'll notice you go back here to your quick start package, you have a 
variety of OpenSDA applications. By default, this is the one that's loaded. Uh, and it's even good practice to just go and make sure you have the latest version. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So what you do is you're, you're gonna unplug your board and then there's, there's this switch one right here, it's a reset switch. You're gonna hold that down while you plug it back in. And you'll notice this time, instead of the K20D50 being the D drive that, that loads into Windows, you get a bootloader drive. So I'll open that one. And the process is essentially the same. All you have to do is make sure that you hold down that switch while you're plugging in. So what I can do is I can come on here and I can copy this over to here. So as I copy that over to the bootloader drive, it's actually gonna go ahead and install that OpenSDA application on my device. Once that's finished, just unplug it plug it back in without holding the switch down, and you'll see that I get the Freedom K20D50 drive again, and I'm running whatever application I have loaded on there. There are also a couple of examples demonstrating serial port functionality, so I'm gonna go ahead and load the Serial Test 19200 on. And as that's copying over, I'm gonna launch TerraTerm, and I'm gonna select COM6 under the serial ports, say OK. I'm going to go to my setup, serial port, change this to 19.2 as well. Say OK, and that should be all loaded up. So now, on this one, uh, you can control that RGB LED by using the numeric keypad. So if I press 9, it turns on the green. If I press 6, it turns on the red. If I press 3, it turns on the blue. And of course, I can go through and turn on any of them that I want at the same time and make a variety of colors. The Freescale Freedom Development Platform is a fantastic platform, and because it's ARM-based, you can use your favorite ARM toolchain, and because it's compatible with the Arduino R3 Shields, you have access to a ton of hardware for developing your project.